What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Tectonica. Today, I'm going to build a perfect copper mine downstairs to add a new line in. And we're going to finish off all of our automatic assemblies so we can start working towards the lovely task. There's 3,000 conveyor belts, 3,000 power floors, and 1,500 inserters. Like you saw in the last one, we've got the inserters working right now. I just need to do a little optimization so we can see here. I've got some memory cores. I built these so I can start placing these down. Thank you. So that way I can use more skills. So what I did was I grabbed the long inserter and I'm going to get the fast inserter. A filter? Enables crafting and production of filter inserters. That sounds pretty freaking useful. Not going to lie. Task inbound. Fast inserter. Moves items between conveyor belts and machines at accelerated rate. Beautiful. So let's see about that because my iron production here is obviously a bit slow because I do have it going straight into a chest rather than directly. It's the same with the copper, but the copper is not being utilized fully at the moment. So I want to see what the difference is in speed between a fast inserter and a regular one. So for the question is, can I even build a fast inserter? Oh yeah, just requires an inserter and electronic components. Easy. Let's build one real quick. And let's toss that down here. Oh, and these are all out of fuel again. So I'm going to go grab some fuel. That's also probably why this isn't working as efficiently. But honestly, at this point, there isn't much of a need for me to have these chests here. I just need these to keep working essentially and finishing off these iron nodes and then just directly bringing down the iron. So the chest is almost redundant at this time. So what I'm actually just gonna do is this here. I'm going to connect this over here and I'm going to swap you around. Actually, we'll delete you. Let's make another fast inserter real quick. just to help out with that and then these ones i'll just allow to to grab some actually i'm not even i'm just going to do it like this i'm going to do it like that so when i do get these all filled back up and ready to go in a bit here this will start producing a bit better so that'll work for the moment though this is obviously speeding it up a fair amount here i'm going to just do the same thing here Get rid of these and add fast boys. And then let's go build a second copper mine. All right, before heading south to do the new copper mine, I want to finish off our conveyor belt and power floors. That way, if I need more, I can just grab them automatically. So I'm going to set this one up here to be conve er, conveyor belt. So I need copper components and iron components. And I've got... Are those my copper components? Yes. So actually, why don't we set... This one up here. Multi stage task inbound. Assembler. Yeah. Step four. And then I'm going to grab. And activate crank generators to commence assembler production. Grab those. Assembler production. Oops. Assemblers produce complex items that cannot be crafted. All right. That's good there. So these are going to require. It's actually just a one-to-one, -one, so we can keep this fairly simple. And I'm going to send a, another path over like this. So I'm actually going to plop this down here. I'm going to do something like this. Actually, I don't need... I think I'm going to just leave these open as such. Yep. And then I'll grab this. Good, it's not drooping. And we'll go down like this. So one thing I do got to fix is this. Oh, I got to go one more back. Silly me. There we go. And then I can just open this up. So that way, if I when I want to put conveyor belts down here, I can. There we go. So that's good now. Now I've got these over here. Probably only need two. Yeah. 
those will start producing and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to send these over to this chest as well so i'm going to utilize probably this side here because it's pretty weak at the moment so if i just do this real fast and i don't i don't need the fast ones yet. i'm going to keep it slow we'll keep it simple and i'm thinking of bringing i'm going to connect the lines just right here like this but i want to bring these higher so to do that what i'm going to do is simply set up a wall like this and i think two will be fine if i delete that delete that this will be where it connects down into here if i did something like this for instance connect those into there and then I connect this. Uh, is it too close? Nope, it's fine. It's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Connect that here. You know, one thing I do love in this game compared to Satisfactory is that I don't get pulled by the conveyor belts. It's kind of a love and hate thing. I can't automatically walk somewhere with it, but I can also easily stand on my stuff to get things fixed. So it's pretty nice in that sense. All right, so now I've got this belt going here. We can see we've got belts coming into here. And I'm even going to do something like this. Because this is pure storage at the moment because these are rather finished products. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm even going to utilize our fast ones here just in case. Do that. Do that. Or and do that. There we go. So all that will get put away because we're making the belts fast and we'll be adding a little bit more to this power line here in just a moment. So now we've got our conveyor belts done. We've got our inserters. Lastly, we need to do our power floors, which is going to require copper wire and iron ingot. So we've got copper wire right here. So I kind of figure I could do something just real simple like this. And do that and now we've got copper wire being input into here oh and there's no power here because i don't have the floors connected so let's just make sure we get these floors down now it doesn't show the power grid but it shows that it has power now which is odd so i've got those in here and i'm thinking how's my iron over here doing iron is clogged up which is getting better so I want to set up a secondary line that'll go that way. So I think the best way for me to do that is to cancel my line here for a moment. Put down a couple of these real fast. And then I send the line this way going across here. But I want this to be tall boy. Like that. So if I do this send the line way back here i'm thinking something like that perhaps and then i just go up and over and then i can bring the line over here but i want to go up and over this and then put the iron there oopsies i'm actually off by a floor oh geez i deleted the thingy Wow, that thing really ate through my stuff. Okay, that's fine. We'll put this back. Set this back up for power floors. Put another inserter here. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Okay, come on. Thank you. And then I'll get my thingy here like this. And I'll grab inserters. I don't remember how many of these needed, but it was, oh, it's just a one-to-one. -one, so that's fine. We'll get plenty here going like this. And I can even set up a little loop here just so I can have a little backup. There we go. That way we just get a little extra flow going here. I don't know if that'll take through there or not, but we'll find out. And now I just need to set up an output. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Do a little output like this. One down. 
Bam, bam. And I'm going to grab this here. I'm just going to connect it right onto this. Just straight in there. So, and to do that, I'm going to go up here. Just like this. So, that should just connect right over. And then I can send this down to here like this. And that'll connect in there. And that's looking fantastic. Delete these in case I want to go underneath at some point. That's great. And now we're making power floors. So we've got the floors in there. So everything's looking fantastic. I love how flat these look on here. Like some of these are like 3D, like the conveyor belts are a little 3D. Those are just like straight flat. But these are, oopsies, these look better. Still a work in progress. It's obviously just a demo, but I hope to see something like that change because that's pretty ugly to me. I would like to be able to see those from afar on the conveyor belt. You know what I mean? So we'll do that. Delete that down. So that's looking good. It's a little low for me. I might have to make that higher, actually. Let's make that one row higher. All right. Bunzai. So I've got it complete here. I ended up redoing this a little bit just so I could utilize more space on the machine. So I've got the copper coils I actually messed up. I wasn't. Do it. I did not do it right. I'm an idiot. Stand by. All right. We got a little hectic there, but I've got it kind of figured out. It's not the most optimized, but it'll do for now until um, I was thinking, what do we got in here for like logistics? Do I have, there's probably some belt upgrades in here. I'm thinking. So for now, this will do though. I set up a second storage specifically for, for our power floors. And then this one's just going to hold our inserters and our conveyor belt so i've got those just churning through but you can see it's kind of bottlenecked because these things cannot pick them up fast enough so to make sure everything was producing fast enough let's just do a quick overview here i've got four no four guys grabbing iron i've only got two guys grabbing copper or sorry three grabbing the copper wire and then i've got five fast boys outputting everything and you can see here that it's actually still bottlenecked so if even like I could even just do like get rid of this and add another one, but it doesn't really matter because this is bottlenecked anyway. So I'm fine with how it is. And it's the same with this one. I've got four here outputting and four here outputting, but those other four are, you know, the belt is so clogged up that these four don't even work anymore. So it's just whatever. It's honestly just whatever. I'm just going to leave it as it is. If we can get some belt upgrades, we can fix those pretty easily. And I've just got this set up for whatever I want it for. I just made sure I had the spacing so I could build conveyor belts over it. So that's pretty good. Everything is looking fine. We're remaking these now. I kind of messed up with this. I, I forgot when I was combining lines, I accidentally hooked up my copper line to this. So I had copper ingots all over the place. So it messed up my assembly. So we got that taken care of. But we're honestly looking really good. We've got a bunch of belts being made. I've got plenty of power floors. So why don't I come over here and add in our power floors at the very least. So I've got 2,400 of 3,000. So actually I want to, I can't take any of those. Oh, well, that's fine. And I'll put in, I don't want to put in the inserters yet. Actually, I'll just put half in just because I don't need to have all those on me. So we've got that happening. Everything's churning quite beautifully, if I do say so myself. It's not the prettiest factory, but just for kind of figuring it out in the demo before we can really figure out how to optimize things. I've never been the one to be, be able to think of the most pretty ways to do stuff. So for now, this will just have to do. But what I do want to do is get a line set up here eventually so I can have... Um, this just going to another storage unit over here. I'll get that going soon, but I figured we'd go in downstairs. I'm going to grab some power floors. Actually, we'd go downstairs and do a bit of mining again. I want to set up a copper mine so I can do the same thing as I have here, have all these iron ingots just ready to go to set up a second production of something if I need it. If I don't, then so be it. But I thought it'd be good to go back and just talk through this. So for people wondering how I get these lines, 
or how I figure out the most efficient way myself, this will be the process. But speaking of which, I want to do, what do I have? I have two available cores. I should be, I should set up a thing to make cores as well, but this will do for now. So I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to do my, my three tier system that I follow right now. So I'm going to put one, two. Can I, sir? Fine. Three, I suppose. I guess that'll have to work. And then I'm not even going to put the fast ones because as this is outputting, this will be good enough. So if I set this up, I'm just going to make it look like it's coming out of the wall. We'll do this real quick. And then I need to set up smelting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our smelters here. So let me go like this. Two, three, four smelters. actually I think I want to get them the other way I want to just plop them over here a bit more so that way I can have some extra space to squeak by over here so back to the smelters so just leave a little gap there, there we go now if I want to if I come from that way I can run across without having to like try and jump over or anything crazy like that all right now we'll come back here little off let's do this i want to i like to try and keep straight lines when i can especially if i'm just doing small constructions like this oh there goes the the mouse being wonky again whoops a little early right here i'm just gonna do something like this and then i'm gonna loop it around on itself there we go just to keep product moving faster and we'll grab our cores. You know, I'm gonna put the faster ones here. Let me get a couple more of these queued up. I'm gonna put down some of these faster ones. I wanna see how much, how this does. This will be my experiment for the fast boys. At seven, I'll get more in just a second. And then we can set up our pathing. So I'm gonna do not quite sure how I want to get this. I think I might go this way and connect the line, but my plan was to put the lines here, for instance, going this way. Like this is going to be my line. So my stairs are going to have to get fixed, which is okay. This was all this is just temporary anyways. So maybe if I do something like Maybe bring it this way. Because I don't want to go up and over. I mean, I could run the whole thing back this way to bring it up the other side, honestly. It'll just keep it pretty and, like, really in sync with everything here. Because if I set this up to come into this line and then it feeds into here instead, I can literally... Yeah, I'm going to do that. It'll just be nicer looking if I do it this way. So what I mean is... I'm going to have this line go like this. Delete that. I'm going to delete all this. And then I'm just going to bring the other line through here somehow. It won't be the best looking, but I want to keep the lines all the way over there and have them going across this whole conveyor. I think it'll look cool like that. So to do that, that'll mean conveyors are going to go this way. And then I'm going to bring them this way. And then I'm going to bring them over here and I'll carve out a hole in the ground to accommodate for this. I went through and did a ton of little optimizations here by like increasing outputs on things. I brought my copper wires over here. And I actually added a power core, a red memory core creation. It's not great, but it's something. And actually, it takes quite a while for it to produce these things. So it's moving pretty slowly, which is fine, though, because I'm just going to have them come over here and be stored. So like I've got 31 of these things. So that way we can start increasing our talent points. And we're going to need those to make green ones anyways. So I just, like I said, I just brought it over from this and brought it all the way down there. And I actually increased the output capacities of this as well by 
deleting the copper line that I had going back here because it was pretty obsolete. Let me actually put that back here. I moved it out to put the loop over here so everything kept flowing. And I just opened this line up because this back line was redundant. It it wasn't necessary. Everything was happening just fine with these front ones here. As you can see, they're still waiting to produce. Anyways, these are the copper parts and these are actually pretty well going at the moment too. And you can see that these are even sitting here waiting for everything to produce. So, and the output's even full. So I could go further, but you can see I'm not even using them fast enough. So if I really wanted to, I can add another output here. But like I said, since I'm not using them fast enough, the line's clogged up anyways. You can see that these two haven't been able to place anything down in quite some time. But that's okay. That just means that's optimized. So if I start using more, it'll work just fine. And it was kind of the same with these here. I ended up bringing over the iron line that I showed you in the beginning over here just to connect it in. And with that, and then I put the connection over here because I had the line remember I had it splitting and coming down here I just put a splitter here so I could just send it in I could actually make that more efficient by sending it here by doing this instead there we go and then I can delete this entire little mess here this that and like that so that's great now so that's just feeding into this line here and then these are going into the main line to help with the iron production because i haven't bothered with the why do i feel so big all of a sudden that was weird i felt really tiny to me i don't know why uh i need to go back and refuel a bunch of things but i just don't feel like it right now because i thought i want to go and just get the second iron mine kind of settled so i brought or copper mine i mean so we've got everything over here you can see this is ready, so why don't I just... Oops, that's not the button I wanted. I'm going to bring these over here as well. I'm going to have to redo these stairs, but that's okay. I'm just going to plop these here for the moment. The stairs can exist. I'll ride the belts down. So let's go take a look at what we did. And then I figure we can touch up real quick on planters in the next episode so we can start creating our own fuel that's going to be a main source for us and we definitely need to have that so we can be effectively fueling all of our productivity so we can see here this is finally getting backlogged again which is fantastic and study shows that since these are operating fine these are moving so fast the smelters cannot keep up with it so using these is useless honestly you can maybe put one if you feel like you're not getting what you need but I'm just going to put the basics down because they're cheaper. And just for now, that's <laughs> plenty for this to handle. So that'll be good. And you can see we have I've got the max outputs here. And what I did was I brought this along here and it brought it down and created this hole. And then I created a little system to bring it up. I can't fit through here, but that's okay. Brought that up and around over here. And I want to I want to close this off. I want to make this look kind of industrial, right? So there we go. I'm even gonna, gonna delete that so I can get down here. I think. Oh, you can't fit. <laughs> can't fit in a one by hole very well. So if I do this here, just get a ladder down. There we go. So now it's just looking quite industrial. So we can see this is the bottom half here. Nothing too crazy, honestly. So that's coming out of the ground. And then I just have it looping up with the iron that I have set up here so that it just looks nice. So, And then just to finish it off, what I'm going to do is this. So if I go, I just want to clean this up here. So now if I do this and bring this out, I can connect all this and put a floor down. So that hole is now disappeared if I extend this just one further there we go I can do that and then I can even bring it bring it up I hope they put in verticality with these things trying to bring things up is quite annoying honestly because it doesn't work well like if I could go vertical I could get all that taken care of in one swoop I obviously don't want them to block the stairs here 
The placements are still a little wonky, but it, you know, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. So like I can, okay, I wanted to see if it would let me place them there. And can I delete these? No, those are placed by the system, so I can't do anything about those. And then if I just kind of go like this, I can kind of close that off as well. So now we can see it's just kind of going right underneath here. And it looks, looks nice. So that's how that's set up. So we got a nice little system there and it goes all up and around. I just kind of fixed the stairs so that we could have better access. So that's a good way to get all this product down here. I want to take a peek ski at the main iron node before we do go, because I want to see how well that's degraded over time now. But guys, if you're loving Tectonica just as much as I am and you're loving all the satisfactory type feels, make sure you are hitting that like button down below. It really helps me out a lot and it shows me how much you guys are enjoying as well. And also, if you're new here, do think about hitting that subscribe button so you can always come back for that sweet shabby content. All right, like this one's pretty big. I don't see much of a difference on it compared to uh, like on the other side where I'm all, probably almost out, honestly, of that one iron node. But this one's pretty big, so that's why I set this up. So this is still going fairly well and for some reason these have bottlenecked interesting usually with three this doesn't bottleneck like this but it must have been when power went out not a big deal though because there's no no storage inside so it's still optimized it's just i got a mining more than i need to essentially at the moment that's fine though everything's looking fan fantastic but all right brothers and sisters on the next episode we're gonna go and start farming because we need to have power i need more biofuel for everything what's this use you what are you get out of here i need more biofuel so i can start powering because my other iron production is stopped and actually my other copper production is stopped as well because i haven't gone and taken care of that so i'm gonna go top off the power floors and the conveyor belts into the pod here I'm just waiting on inserts, which will take a little bit of time because that's also not quite optimized. So it's a little, uh, it's a, it's a little poor. Got to work on it, but we'll get there. We'll get there. As you can see, it's like they're coming through here, like every other. And I've got a uh, 147 in there, so you know it's it's okay. It's okay. So if I come here, dump a roo, and these, and then put those in, so. I'm almost there. So I just need to get some more inserts and we'll be ready for the next show. So what I'm going to also do here is I want to build some more power cores. And then we can get farming. Bam, grab all those. So F6. I'm going to grab that. What is that? That's a... Uh, four by four let's do a five by five come on there we go five by five i can stack them Ooh, nice nice i won't be able to get a second five by five but i'll take what i can get do that Four, five, six. All right. Look at that. Look at that power bank. That looks pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to fix that. But with that, we can unlock a lot more research now. So, for instance, like I can get the mining speed, which doesn't look like I need at the moment. So I'm going to hold off. Uh, the F mode enables flattening mode. I thought it already flattened. That's kind of odd. Um, I can get the thresher, which I will grab. Um, we got to repair the production terminal. We can get to those. I can get the filter inserter. I don't even know what that is, but let's grab it for now, because why not? You see, I've got my avail total places, 88 cores, available 50. Transportation, a hover pack? Do I, I can build a hover pack? Excuse me? Energy is an accumulation, increases capacity of accumulators by 150%. Enables production of the accumulator. We'll grab that. We'll look into that. And I'll increase the production. Oh, I haven't scanned it. Can't do that. And in science, might as well unlock the beacon. I did get the echo sketch undone because I wasn't using the point. There we go. Uh, green memory cores we can open up. Processing units. 
and I'm short a little bit to get the light stick. So we've almost locked, unlocked all the basic stuff. So, all right, brothers and sisters, we're going to come back next time, and we're going to start a farm. I'll probably just do it around here, I'm thinking. I'm not sure what it requires yet, so we'll figure that out next time. So make sure you're subscribed so we can get farming together. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Do Up. The rest of your day is not too shabby.